Very good. Josue, can you see the screen? Thumbs up if you can see it. Josue, can you see the screen? Yes? Perfect. Okay. So we're going to start with our end in mind, guys, today. And our end in mind is to... Silence your my, my microphones. Uh, yeah, silence your microphones, please. Thank you very much. Okay, our end in mind today is to, to summarize and role play information about the tornado chaser. Okay? And this is our agenda. Look at our agenda. Today, we are going to check some vocabulary that we will need for uh, our activity. We are going to read about the tornado chaser. We are going to answer some true-false questions. Uh, have to, don't have to, and must. We're going to practice an interview, and finally, we're going to call the road. Okay? First of all, we're going to, need to check some words. Here. The first one is afraid. Afraid is when you are, like, scared about something. For example, some people is afraid of spiders. Or if you see a scary movie, you are afraid. I, I, I understand, teacher. Very good. Like and scary? It's, yes, it's like a synonym of to be scared. Then we have chaser. What is a chaser? Chaser is something or someone that follows. For example, the cats chase mouse. So they chase, they go, they go behind the animals. They, that is chase to follow. When you run behind somebody because you want to catch it, you are chasing. That's a chaser. I understand. Excellent. And we have scary. Scary is very similar to afraid. A, a horror movie can be very scary. Maybe you cannot sleep by, at night because the movie is very scary, right? And then we have classify. Classify is when you put the things in the correct order. For example, in this one, they classify the, the blue squares in one order and then the green triangles in the other side. So we, they classify the, the shapes, okay? And, Next one, must stand. We use must stand for when something is not permitted. And we use it for rules and, and uh, obligations, but mostly for rules. For example, in this case, there is a picture with a car. And, well, you must stand, park there. It's a rule and you, you use must. Must or must and must and is a negative and the positive is must. For example, in your online class, you must pay attention and you must stand talk at the same time. You must stand use the, the microphone all the time, for example. No? And those are the rules for our, for our uh, online classes. And very good. And then we're going to talk about a tornado chaser. What do you think, think about it, what do you think that is a tornado chaser? Just think for a second and raise your hand, virtual or the um, electronic one. Think for a second. Uh, Steven, can you help me? What do you think that is a tornado chaser? Yes, teacher. A tornado chaser is when a person likes to chase tornadoes because he wants to get them on camera. Exactly. 
Uh, it's not very common in Mexico, but it's very common in other countries. There is some, some people that chase tornadoes. And uh, Marifer, can you tell me what do you see in the picture? Open your microphone and tell me what do you see in the picture. I see a man that is taking a photo of the tornado. Yeah, and is he using a regular camera or do you think that is a special camera? I think that is special. Yeah, it must be special, no? Because it is a dangerous situation. And what about the clothes? Do you think that uh, they use uh, special clothes, Romina? What do you think? The special clothes is the but it's too very cold, but you can you have the a me clothes. Exactly. Probably you you must wear a special clothes because of the weather and because of the, the tornado and the all all the things that you face. Okay, so we are going to read about, do you think, no, uh, with a Heather, do you think that a normal person can, can be a tornado chaser? Or is a a what? Do you think that what? everybody can be a tornado chaser? Eh? Do you think that everybody can be a tornado chaser? For example, you. Can you be a tornado chaser? I am. No. See with the movie. Well, maybe in movies, yes, but it must be uh, like someone special, no? Someone who is very um, brave, you know? Okay, so on page 78 of your learning log, well, there is a picture here. Max, can you tell me what do you see on the picture? And yes, teacher. Like, um, uh, in the picture, I see a, torn a tornado, teacher. Yes, there is a tornado. And, well, there are some questions here that we are going to answer later. We are just going to imagine, okay? A yes, tornado, do you, think, do you think that a tornado can last long time, like minutes or hours, Jael? Mm, minutes, teacher. Minutes. Minutes, okay. So if you think that it can last minutes, you just you put through. If not, you circle. I think, I think uh, hours, teacher. Okay. So she thinks that they might last for hours. We are not sure. We don't know. Okay. But that's fine. And in the second one, it says a uh, tornado stays in the area. Do you think that the tornado stays in the same place or do you think that the tornado moves around? Let me see, uh, Jesus, Jael, Jael, what do you think? Do you think that tornadoes stay or do you think that tornadoes move around? I think that tornadoes move around, teacher. Yeah, probably they move around, no? Because they cause a lot of damage. Yeah. Uh, open your cameras, Yael, please. Jesus. Teacher, in the in the televisions, I see that in here it's a little tornado. Yeah, a little tornado occurred. Yeah, it's not very common, but it can in happen. In Sinaloa, teacher. Yeah, yeah. Teacher. Teacher, can I say something? Of course. One day, um, I got to Veracruz with my family, and and in how do you say car carretera? In the highway. In the highway, see a little tornado of of leaves. Ah, yes, those are beautiful, but well, that's just wind. It's not a real tornado, but yeah, it's, it's nice. It's beautiful. Teacher, can I ask you a question? Of course. 
What's the difference in a tor uh, what's the difference a tor what's the difference into a tornado and a hurricane? Ah, that's that's very interesting. The maybe the 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 uh, intensity of the winds. It's because maybe one, is, one is stronger than the other. But well, let's talk about that at the end. Um, first, let's finish reading tornado chasers. We are going to read about tornado chasers. Mm, let's see. Valeria Olmos, can you start reading tornado chasers? Vale, Olmos, vale, Olmos, are you there? Yes. Tornadoes are a fast, dangerous, and most violent storms on their wind seats. We can guys of three. <laughs> 380 kph. So I'm only last okay, for a wait, minute. Wait, wait, wait there, wait there, Vale. Thank you. So tornadoes are fast, dangerous, and they are the most violent storms. And wind uh, speeds can be as high as 480 kilometers per hour. So the air is running very, very fast. And Teacher, can I read? Of course. Continue, please. Some tornadoes only last for minutes, but biggest one can last for hours and travel over mile 30 kilometers. They can also do a lot of damage. Okay, you thank you. Hold on there. Hold on. Thank you. And so it says here that tornadoes can stay, can last for minutes or for hours, no? If they are very big, they can last for hours. Um, let's continue reading. Said, I cannot see you. Can you open your camera? Kathy, can you continue reading? Yes. They can. In the United States, there are about 100? No. 130 kilometers. Uh -huh. They can also. Don't worry. Don't worry. Be happy. <laughs> okay, I'll continue. They can also do a lot of damage. In the US, there are about 1,000 tornadoes every year. Imagine having 1,000 tornadoes. Well, in the United States, they have, they have uh, that many tornadoes. Max, can you continue reading? Yes, teacher. There are about um, 100 tornadoes every 1, day. 2,000 tornadoes every year, and they kill a uh, avenger of average, average of um, 60. 60 people. That is scary, but some people look for them and then crash. Then why chase them. You check them. Chase them. Thank you. Chase, chase you. Thank you. So there is a lot of people that die because of the tornadoes. Here it says that uh, la, about 60 people die because of the tornadoes. And that is scary. It's like like a horror movie. Some people, it's, it's very scary to see a tornado. Um, Steven, can you continue reading? Um, yes, teacher. Uh, okay. <laughs> Tornadoes every year, they kill an advantage of 60 people. That is scary, but some people look for them <laughs> and then chase them. Why do they do that? I spoke to the 
professional storm chaser Alex Wilson. She said, we don't have to chase tornadoes, but we do it because we want to understand them better. We are not afraid. Actually, it's exciting. Yes, well, he's saying that normally regular people don't chase, chase tornadoes because it's dangerous. It, no, they, it's risky. It's yeah, really very, risky. Very risky. But they do it because for them, it's very fun. Okay, so let's go to the next one. We're going to answer some questions. Uh, let's see. Tornadoes are... Teacher. Remember to use your hand. Tornadoes are slow. Who says teacher? Romina, what do you think? Tornadoes are slow? <laughs> no, it was very fast. No. Yes, that is false. Tornadoes are very fast. Excellent. Okay, a tornado can last for hours. So the duration yes. of tornadoes can be yes. very long. Yes, it can be very long. It's true. Remember to wait for your participation, right? <laughs> uh, let's see. Valeria Olmos. Tornadoes are fun for most of the people. Is that correct or not? No, teacher. It's not correct. No. Yeah, because uh, most of the people are afraid of, of tornadoes, right? No. <laughs> okay, excellent. Let's continue. Okay, and we're going to check some no. rules. No. Nah. We're going to check some rules about doesn't have to, don't have to. Or must and mustn't. Uh, Valeria, Valeria, are you okay? Thank you. Okay. When you use, uh, wait, wait a second. When you use don't or doesn't, you have options. Okay, you have options. For example, you don't have to chase a tornado. You don't have to. You have the options. It's not a rule. Okay, it's optional. And when you use must and must then, it's because it's an obligation. For example, you mustn't chase tornadoes if you if you are not prepared for it. No. Um, another example uh, is you don't have to uh, you don't have to say bad words to your classmates. And you mustn't you mustn't hit your classmates, or you mustn't run in school. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next one. We are going to imagine that we are a tornado chasers, okay? And we are going to complete some advices. And you have to choose must, mustn't, or have to, okay? The first one, to chase a tornado. And if you are a tornado chaser, what could be your recommendation? Yes. Teacher. Yes. I can. Something happened there. Romy, Romy, can you help me with the recommendation? To chase a tornado, a tornado, you to wear have to, have to, have to, you have to wear special clothes. Yes. Okay. Is it optional? Yes. Okay. Mm, number two, you chase tornadoes by yourself. Let's see who else is around here. Marijo. You chase tornadoes by yourself. What teacher? You chase tornadoes by yourself. Well, you must, you must then, or you have to. Meet. You 
Mars face tornadoes by yourself. That means that you have to go, uh, you have to chase the tornado. You must or you must chase the tornado. A tornado you to. You must and you must and teacher. You, you must. must and chase tornadoes by yourself, right? If if we are not used to, you must and very good. And use a special equipment. Do you remember that they use cameras? They use uh, some types of vehicles. Um, let's see, uh, Stephen. What do you think? Chase tornado by yourself. Tornadoes, you. Teacher, tenemos que anotar eso en la en la libreta de language. No. No. Uh, you uh. mustn't. You mustn't. Use a special equipment. You must and use a special equipment. Max, what happened? Oh. What do you think? No, teacher, I think I know what it is. No, teacher. teacher, teacher, I think that teacher, it's teacher. mustn't, mustn't. Okay, let's you see. You mustn't. Uh, let's let's, you respect, must let's uh, respect her. You mustn't. You mustn't. You have to. You have to use a special equipment. Okay, very good, Kathy. And... The last one. Well, when you chase a tornado, you have to be impatient. Or you mustn't be impatient. I don't know, teacher. You have to. You have to be impatient, like, hi, where is the tornado? Must have me. You must or you mustn't? Mustn't. You mustn't be impatient or you don't have to be impatient. Okay, if you want to see a tornado. Okay, teacher. Very good. Now, let's continue. We're going to, uh, we're going to imagine that we are tornado chasers. And we are going to give advices to the normal people that want to chase tornadoes. Okay, um, Naomi, can you help me? Hi, my name is, what is your name? Alexa. Naomi. Naomi. Who okay. is Alexa? Hi, my name is Naomi and I am a tornado chaser. To chase a tornado, you must, must use special equipment. If you are not a tornado chaser, you must or mustn't? Mustn't. Mustn't. If you are not a tornado chaser, you mustn't chase them by yourself. Okay. Those are my, those are my activities. Story chasing. Yes, the recommendations. Okay, uh, Eder, can you read the can you read the information again, please, with your with you in your own work? Teacher. Yes. Let's wait for Eder. Hi. 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 Hello. Hi. Yes. Heather, I cannot hear you well. Hi, my name is. Hi, my name is. How is my name? What is your name? Heather. Hi, Heather. my name is. I am a tornado chaser. Okay, and I am a tornado chaser. You must use a special equipment. Equipment, very good. If you are not a tornado chaser, you mustn't chase tornadoes yourself. Exactly. And those are your advices. Okay. 
Very good, guys. Uh, can you check your learning log? Okay. Your learning log. Okay. Open your learning log. Is the is the activity two? Is the activity two exactly? And then you have some sentences here. Use expensive. What page, teacher? It's page. Let me see. Sí, I have a question. question. Yes, it's page seventy-eight. The teacher. Yes, the teacher. Teacher. Yes, tell me. So, do we have to listen to a listening to do that? Yes, but you're going to do that at home. Right now, I just want to show you uh, the activity. On this one, you have to write don't or doesn't have to. Remember that we use don't What's have to. Teacher? It's page 17. Seven, 79? 79. 79. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, 78. 78. 78 or 79. Do check it. Uh, okay. okay. On this one, you have to write uh, the, uh, the words in the correct column. If it's optional, you write it in don't or doesn't. And if it's obligatory, you use must and. For example, in the page 79, I not know, but in the house, it's in the houses. Yeah, but uh, you have to do that activity after this one. On this one, wait, wait a second. Okay, on this one, let me explain it. Um, you don't have to, for example, Go back to get to close. Maestra, ¿vamos a entrar si nos saca? No, no, no. We are, we, all, we still have eight minutes left. No, we only have five minutes. Five minutes? Pero, okay. Yes. Bueno, Miss, este, si no saca, nos volvemos a meter o ya no? No, don't worry. We are almost done. Teacher! I just want to do this listening because I just want to, I just want to, I just want to relax like a cricket. And, well, let me explain you the activity for homework is this one. It's on page 80, and you have to listen and color. So you listen to the instructions, color, and write the names depending on the instructions that you hear. Uh -huh. yeah, what page of the homework? It's page 80. Teacher. Teacher. What? Teacher. Page. No. Teacher. It's page 80. Teacher, can I say one thing? Yes. Um, the other page of mouse and mouse thing. With I, sir, when I search for this page, I found that I have really? like a you, plume on or one thing and what? I see like the what page? Okay. Teacher. Okay. Well, let's open your yes. microphones and say goodbye. If you have any goodbye. questions. Bye. Goodbye, bye. 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 Open your bye. mouth. Bye. Goodbye, guys. Bye, bye. Goodbye, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you. Look at, look at teacher. Bye, teacher. See you, you tomorrow. Dani, hoy estuve la para ver cómo pintarnos los cuartos, ¿va?